Hey there, pal. Can you help me? Please don't hurt me. Don't you better this. not be pondering me as your target. <laughs> In today's video, I will show you how to install FSR 3.1.2 on Red Dead Redemption 2. There are actually two methods. The first one is my previous method. The previous video got FBI, open up! And the second method is FSR 3.1.2. Keep in mind that the game still has issues, but it's more than playable now. These videos take forever to make, so leave a like and subscribe, it means a lot. Let's start with FSR 3.1. For the majority of NVIDIA users, the previous method worked fine. Some weren't able to do it, mainly AMD users. So there is no guarantee this will work for them either. Before anything, you must run the game once and set the graphics API to RealTex 12. And no, this will not work with Vulkan. If you can, restart the game and see if the game uses RealTex 12 and turn off vsync and triple buffering as well. Then go to the video description and download the necessary file. Make sure you have a clean install of the game. If you have installed any upscaling mods before, make sure to properly uninstall them or remove them. Then open the FSR 3.1 file and extract everything to the game folder. Open the DLSS override folder and run the enable signature override registry file. Then go to the mods folder and run this rdr2upscaler.ini file. If you have an RTX card, use DLSS. Put 0 in the upscale type section. For GTX and maybe AMD users, choose FSR 3.1. So put 3 in the upscale type section. And put 1 in here because it says it will combat ghosting. Save and exit. Now you can open the game and see if it works. For MD users, if you can't see DLSS in game settings, extract everything in this file to RDR2 game folder. Then open nvngx.ini file and search for nvapi dll. And set this override nvapi dll to true. Then try to launch the game again. Sometimes game will not work unless you run the game as an administrator. So run the game as administrator anyway. This reshared menu will say it needs an update. But don't update it. The mod will not work. When you are in the game settings, you can see now I have the DLSS option. So choose it and let's go to the story mode. As you can see, I have 100 plus FPS. So the frame generation is working. Press the home key to open the reshade menu. Here you can change the uh, sharpness of the game. Press the end key to get the frame generation menu. I highly recommend not touching any of these settings. Sometimes when you change these settings, either the game will crash or frame generation will break. You will see higher FPS but the smoothness will be horrible. For example, after I change things in the frame generation menu, now my game doesn't feel smooth, it's choppy and it's stuttery. I haven't had that issue before. So that's it for this method. Let's see how to install FSR 3.1.2. So follow the same steps as before. Disable vSync and triple buffering and set the graphics API to DirectX 12. Then open the game file location and delete any upscaling mods you installed before. Open the FSR 3.1.2 file and extract everything to the game folder. Open the DLSS override folder and run the enable signature override registry file. Do the same AMD fix steps for this method if you can't see DLSS in game settings. 
when you are in game settings you can see i still have dlss option so enable it If you press insert key, you can get this menu. RTX users and GTX users both can use DLSS, but for GTX users, DLSS will have lower FPS. So choose FSR3X for GTX and AMD users. When I turn on frame generation, I got 30 to 40 FPS more, but my heart is flickering. When you turn on hard fix from the menu, it does fix it, but it still has some issues. In here, my game crashed because I have RTSS enabled. So make sure to close any overlays, even the Steam overlay when you use this mod. So this mod is not perfect. It has issues like when you aim at something, everything begins to flicker. But other than that, map will flicker a bit. FPS gain is worth it in my opinion. I haven't played that much with this mod, so I don't know if this will crash when running a cutscene or after 10 minutes. So test it and make sure to comment on the video or join the discord for support. If you want to see how many FPS you get, you can see it down here in the OptiScaler menu. So after you set the settings you want, click on the save INI button to save the changes. When I don't record, Flickering isn't that bad. So this mod has potential. These issues will get fixed, but some are unfixable because of the game problems. If anything comes up to fix these issues, I will make a video. So subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to get that notification. So that's it. Until next video. Adios amigos.